Gospel Lectures entitled Understand Emotional Ties and Transcend Karma Part 1 of 5 on Between Master and Disciples given in English on March 1st, 2005 in Hungary.我有两个问题我的眼睛就下意识的就不能逼得很定了这次因为上学的情况他不能来你还活着等一下回去几天而已连佛也想不到那天天就有问题我觉得机会难得的所以我就选择了师父<笑> because you could also teach other beings, but they could learn it up there. Sometimes they manifest and learn around here. I guess for some reason, I say something I don't remember, okay? Bring me that tape and then I explain to you, all right? Maybe I say something like in the physical be- uh, body, it's easier to practice, but many other beings come down here to get the physical body so that they can practice. Yeah. Két beavatott társunk is mondja, hogy elért a Egyesült a Mesterre. Tévednek, vagy tényleg így van? Nincsenek itt. Two of our fellow practitioners say that uh, they reach the level of being one with Master. Uh, are they true or correct? These people are not here. Who are they? Or if they're not here, and they they, are, are they here. in the list of the sincere people? Uh, no. Then uh, I think they're not. <laughs> Both are second level, sorry. The second level, they're very itchy to become Buddha because they have the power of intellect and they can talk very well. Uh, and people believe them. People, wow, how you can talk so good like that? And then they begin to, their ego inflate up and then they make trouble. I told you guys many times, just be cool, practice if you're Buddha or not. Everybody knows inside, eh? And I will announce it anyway, but they're too in a hurry. The people who go out and announce themselves mostly like that, they are not a Buddha. I'm telling you. I would be happy if everybody just became Buddha just like that, eh? It takes a lot of merit, uh, devotion and goodness inside. Of course, uh, enlightenment, eh? Okay, never mind. Most of the Buddha, when they became Buddha, they don't know it because of the grace of the Master as well. They do feel that they... They're clean, but because it's so subtle, it go 
slowly, you know? So even you arrive there, you don't feel it. Understand? Not much. So I have to tell them. <laughs> and then they will realize that they will um, try to concentrate in that, and then they will realize better. It's like the people who just became a doctor, he's too busy. Yeah? Too busy to realize that he's a doctor, eh? But after a while he worked in the hospital and everything settled down and then he has money from his job and then he really realized that it's, you know, he knows he's a doctor but it's difficult for him to have a sense of feeling, yeah? Oh, never mind, never mind. But they will know if they lose it. That's the thing. <laughs> they will know that they lose it when, whenever they lost the Buddhahood or the level go down, they know it. Okay. Okay, just like you have a driver's license for a long time, you don't always sit here and know that you have a driver's license, no? But you know for sure when the police took it away, yeah? <laughs> when you lost it, then you know, oh my God, my driver's license. <laughs> Otherwise, you have it all the time here in your pocket and you never even think about it. No big deal, you can put it, no big deal. Yeah, next. Uh, Master, this phrase that you taught us, um, the gift, um, the other day before I slept, I could, I could feel the whole cosmos all, all singing that phrase. Yes, yes, yes. And every particle and triggering it more and more and more. Uh, Correct. Before I fell asleep. Um, and uh, I was just thinking that's some amazing thing, isn't it? I mean, can Very you, powerful. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about that, why you should concentrate a little bit more? No. So what, that, else? what else to tell you? That will really lift the, the universe, right? Yeah. Completely. It does. Um, the other thing what for? I teach you if it doesn't no, waste amazing. your time. Yeah, yeah. No, no. It, no, it's important. Then now I know that that's, I, I try to say that phrase as much as possible whenever I can. You should. The other thing was um, the, the Lord of different levels, but I was thinking about our physical level. Who's the Lord of that? Is, is, is there, a there is a Lord of physical. Oh, is there? He's appointed. Right. By uh, the astral law. All right. I just pick any human. Right, because we need someone accountable to complain to, right? And say, look, hey, what have you done? He knows, he stuff. knows. Why are you troubling our master for? We yeah, this he knows. So all the physical level people, when they pray, mostly it's the Lord of the physical world responds to them. Ah. And any astral being pray, then the, they pray to the Lord of the astral. He's responsible and he will respond accordingly. Okay. Yeah. Yesterday, I didn't hear your speech, but the stuff you were telling us about um, the obstructions from the Maya and everything, and I really felt angry, and I, I just felt that it wasn't fair, mm. that they, should, they shouldn't uh, be allowed to treat you like that. They, mm. shouldn't, they shouldn't do it out of respect. Mm. But uh, you also have intelligence, no? <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, I hope so. Like, I mean, <laughs> I mean it's not just him. Yeah. It goes two ways, yeah? You should use your God power. You have more power than He has. Yeah, yeah. But you are higher than Him. And if you listen to a lower person, that's also your problem. Yeah. But nevertheless, the God's always merciful. He forgives you and always sends somebody to help you out. Yeah. But he knows you're just children and don't know much. Okay? Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully you really don't know much. <laughs> All right. Sometimes you self-deserve also can't just blame the guy. The humans have all kind of teachings since time immemorial. No? You have Buddhist teacher, you have, you have at least the Bible, the Buddhist uh, Sutra, and in every uh, uh, Bible or uh, holy teaching tell you what to do, at least the moral, physical moral, but the human don't listen. I don't think it's because we're bad. I think it's because God is very abstract and physical things are easy to see. We've been brainwashed with that since we were born. Yeah, but not to go walk over somebody else's head to attain something, not stealing from the brother when you don't need, yeah. not killing somebody else when just for small things. I think that's also bad. I think the worst thing is when you forget Master's power, God's power, we just rely on physical means to solve a problem and suffer a lot. Yeah, we all know. So what are you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Any more? No? For you, uh, it's easy, eh? 
Just give the five precepts, meditate, recite the five names, remember the gift, and go straight up. Sooner or later. Nothing can stop you now. Nothing can tempt you anymore. Nothing you want even to go near. When you recite these uh, phrases I taught you, nothing go near. What's going on with your dog now? Uh, is he inside or outside? Doesn't matter, but no, keep warm. This is for, uh, for the heart. For the heart on the head? Oh, oh wonderful. Especially for food. Oh, good, good. You <laughs> see, he needs some care. Eh? Yes. And even if you don't bring him inside, you make a big house for him and put a little heater in there or something. Yes. The safe heater, eh? Take care of him. Do not think he is just an animal because you will lose points if you don't. A love is an important thing in spiritual practice, yeah? And love has to translate into physical action. And if you don't do it, then you're not worth a saint. And that's why it's deducted. Not because the dog do something or karma or anything. You have to prove that you're worth your title. Do it, all right? Next one. No, huh? Okay. We wait for a little water and then we meditate. You're going? No. I think. What happened? I think he expressed he wants to stay on the friendship basis. That's it? Yeah. I know. This is what he said. Okay, good. Yeah. Then just bye bye, okay? Yeah. Find someone else. Don't, don't keep hoping, all right? Yeah. I know. You are in love with him, but he's not. It happens sometimes like that, okay? Now at least you know what it is, okay? Don't bother having a friend with him again, altogether. What kind of friend? <laughs> what kind of woman and a friend dating each other for a while and then become a friend? What kind of friend? Huh? Maybe one night then, two nights then, two hundred nights then, but not a friend. Yeah? Forget him. He's not bad, but he, he was, he's not honest, understand? Yeah? He's not honest towards others, so he has to towards you. Okay, now you know, eh? Yeah. Forget it, okay? Not everyone we love will return our love. It's like, c'est la vie. Ça va? I'm sorry, baby. There you are. <laughs> We have so small blankets. No, no big ones. ones. Are you big ones? Yeah. Good, good. Good, good, good. Sometimes it's not love, you know, but you're more loyal, that's why. You see? You know, you're too loyal. <laughs> Sometimes because you don't have a boyfriend for a long time, and then you met him, yeah? And then he seems to be a gentleman, no? Nah? So you just give your heart away because you don't have anybody else. But it doesn't mean he, he's for you, it doesn't mean he's a good guy, okay? And sometimes he use that, and I don't like that, okay? But you have to know, okay? I know it before you tell me, but I don't want to tell you, no? You have to find out yourself, eh? Uh-huh, uh, the situation as it stands. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I knew already he, he's not sincere with you, eh? He's not very sincere with you, he wasn't. doesn't matter, okay? Affinity, you know? Sometimes the enemy, they come back, they hurt you in different ways. They don't always use knife, gun, yeah, or whip. They use different ways to hurt you, okay? In the form of love, a lot of people use it to hurt each other, huh? You're just one of those guys, one of your enemy in the past, yeah, okay? But you're lucky you're not with him. Otherwise, he might hold hand with some other girl and hang around you and you feel even worse. Understand this? So you feel good already that you separated, you don't even know what he's doing. Of course, it's, uh, you miss him, uh, but you can get over better. Understand this? So you're good. Sometimes the enemy, they come back, they hurt you in different ways. They don't always use knife. Gun, yeah, or whip. They use different ways to hurt you. Okay? In the form of love, 
A lot of people use it to hurt each other. Huh? It's just one of those guys. One of your enemy in the past. Yeah? Okay? But you're lucky you're not with him. Otherwise he might hold hand with some other girl and hang around you and you feel even worse. Understand this? So you feel good already that you separated, you don't even know what he's doing. Of course, it's, uh, you miss him, uh, but you can get over better. Understand this? So you're good. Any question? No? Life after life, we have a lot of friends, we have a lot of enemies. Yeah? Not necessarily our fault that we have that enemy. But it's just the world like that, and the Maya try to work through somebody else who's maybe lower level to hurt you. And then not just one life, the next life they can find you again. You know, just show up in front of you and cause your pain like that. It's worse than stabbing with a knife. Yeah. It's not, it's not worse. Then it's good. <laughs> it's sometimes emotional pain is worse than the physical pain. That's what I mean. Yeah. A life after life, we meet people, and sometimes we re react with them, and they react with you. Uh, if it's good, then they come back as your friend or as your good lover. If it's bad, they come back as, uh, you know, people who break your heart. Yeah. So even if he will be with you, I don't think it's good for you. Yeah. So you should be happy that at least you don't have to continue. Yeah. Okay. Right. I could not tell you that he's not <laughs> in love with you, but you find out and he's good. See, like this, you know. Why, why didn't you tell him? Two and a half years, too long. Um, maybe too shy to express my feelings. Yeah, yeah I, understand. I was too shy. I, understand. I was hoping for the situation to come to feel really, so that we could be yeah. kind of in, in tune, and I tell him that it, he was escaping. Ah, okay. Four times. Yeah, yeah. yeah you should I know. saw, so I didn't, yeah. Okay. But he's really, I should not. Yeah, I never mind. Just, mm -hmm. just a different way of hurting you. So, okay. He did it before and he, he does it again. So now this is the end. End. Finito. <laughs> <De fini. laughs> it's finito. It's perfect. Yeah? <laughs> you feel okay or? Um, I feel better after talking to you. Yes? It, it was uh, clear. Con uh, more clear. Uh, con uh, conversation. conversation was, was clear. Mm. Um, I really felt mm. what, what he said. I mean, it yes. uh, yeah. was uh, on the spot and, and I, I still tried. So I think I feel better. Because yeah. I, know, I know the truth, you know. Yeah. Why didn't you do that before? You see, I didn't want to tell you, I know, but I didn't want to tell you to influence your decision, you see, and let you find out and feel it yourself and you know what to do, yeah, because you've grown up, okay? That is physically speaking, eh? And spiritually speaking, we encounter sometimes our enemies or our loved ones all the time. You know, big deal, okay? You meet this person, you might meet another again, uh, better. We meet our acquaintance all the time. Understand? All the time. It's not rare that you meet someone who will strike some memories in you. Sometimes you meet enemies, feel like friends, feel like love, but it's not. Because <laughs> I had a feeling uh, of my past life was that she had uh, mother and son. You have the vision? Yeah, I'm not sure. Who is a mother? He was the man. He's a man? Yeah. Not possible. No, it was not. Then I was wrong. No, you were not wrong. It's the opposite. <laughs> but never mind. Mother and son are not always mother and son. You know that, huh? Yeah. Mostly they, they come back to pay debt to each other, yeah? Like my parents, I told you, they were my employees. And I were very good to them. I lend them some money when they're in trouble. So they came back, I can take them as parents. So I can come down here. Yeah? Okay? But of course, I have all due respect for them. I love them very much as parents. Yeah? But know yourself that nothing is the way it looks. All right? Yeah. You even been lovers before and he betrayed you. And that's why he came back this time, he's kind of afraid of you because <laughs> he felt guilty before. 
<laughs> he knows it don't work. Yeah. <laughs> but it's good that he doesn't hurt you too much anymore. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. You might find some. Uh, Uh, maybe you won't find anybody else, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? At? What? You happy that she stay lonely all her life? No. No. But as practitioner, why not? Yeah. Why not? Eh? Cool, eh? Yeah. Yeah. We can make a club like. <laughs> Female bachelor spiritual saint club. <laughs> yeah, cool, eh? Yeah, we can be a club chairwoman. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Full of experience. <laughs> Two and a half years suffering. <laughs> yeah, we have many things to do. It's not just men or women, okay? We have more interesting things to do. Try to get over it. Eh? Anybody else who have heart problem? The doctor is here. <laughs> right, right. It's very difficult to realize who is who, eh? Yeah. Ah, because life after life, you play so many roles, you get all confused, you know? Enemies, friends, love, hate, all kinds of things. Uh, Oh, I can tell you all, all the, all the things, but you know already, huh? No, already. There's no such real thing as love in this world. You know, there might be relationship, yeah, or the friendship that lasts a long time, and maybe reincarnate again as friend, yeah. And if they practice together with you, then it is good, 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 and it is good relationship and good friend from the past life. If something hurt you or some obstructive thing, then you know it's not. Yeah. Uh, and the better for you if you practice alone is sometimes quicker, you know. You lose something, you gain something. It's always like that. Yeah. But it's painful, eh? You wish you didn't meet, huh? Yeah. You wish you don't, you don't ever have to see him, eh? It would have been better, no? Yeah. That's what we think all the time. But it happens, you know? It happens, so we just bear it, yeah? And lucky you don't have to see him. No? Can you imagine if you see him every day or at work even? <laughs> Oof! Then you got to change job, <laughs> change the house or change country, yeah? To forget. Some people, they vow to find each other life after life. Sometimes it happens, but mostly not. They can't, anyway. Okay. Do you feel good, I hope? Have yes. some candy? Mm. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. Don't blame you. Okay? Don't blame you. Just a situation like that, huh? Yeah, a situation like that. Should I tell you some secret? Yes. <laughs> Just to make you feel better. A oh, long time ago, true story, long before you even remember, maybe a thousand years ago, huh? there was two people who lived together uh, very nicely. But that was after, after that. Before that, they were enemies. Not the true enemy, like killing each other or doing something too bad. It's just like concurrence, you know, like competition at work or something, political, uh, business uh, competitors. But then they came somehow the, the guy, the opponents, came to admire his uh, competitors, you know, so then he, he wanted to be with her very much. But he can't. At that time it was too late already, already the, the rift is too far, so. 
he, he hold that in his heart so much. So next life he was born. Ah, he chased after her. Yeah. And then they were okay, you know. They were okay together. And they lived together very nicely. Yeah. And then, uh, but it's still the enmity is still there between them. So the relationship wasn't that good as it should be. But they, they was attracted to each other immediately, you know, because they were opponents before. And they feel there's such an attraction. Feel that, oh, like I know that guy or she, I know her, you know. Okay, so, that, anyway, um, so they, they, they became a couple, but relationship were not too good. But they, they like each other, you know, somehow. Or he likes her still. So next life, come back again. <laughs> Another time. Uh, be a couple. But this time, a uh, relationship goes well, better. Like last time maybe 60%, this time 70%. Huh? And then because the person, one person, is very spiritual. But the first life, he, the guy, became disciple <laughs> after a while, you know, because she became a master then. The next life also, he's also a he, and then the she also a spiritual person. Also, uh, seek enlightenment and all that. So he he kind of get bored, you know. So he fell uh, with another woman just for a few months, and he feel bad that they don't get on well. So he came back to the spiritual, you know, uh, fifth level person. Yeah, fine. It's so, okay. It doesn't matter. But then. Uh, Long time after, and then they separate because they die. Yeah? That one person die, and the, the 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 one the fifth level continue stay alive but alone, you know, until she die. And of course, the fifth level person always go around and become fifth level person. If she want to go anywhere, she always maybe low uh, late before, but always go up. So the other person, because of this betrayal to the fifth level saints. So he has never been able to reach a higher level of spiritual practice. But nevertheless, he is so attached to the experience that they live together, so he wants to look for her all the time in different forms. He cannot. So he became like a practitioner, you know, for many hundred years in order to go higher so that you can have a choice to look and to be born where he wants, yeah, to be with her. Even then, you know, when when he see her, nothing can happen because the woman that he has betrayed with for a few months now came back and stayed in between them already. So he, he, he can see it, but he feels something, but he cannot do anything. Understand? So whatever mistake you make, it comes back. Whenever you don't want it the most, it comes back and make trouble for you. Therefore, uh, there's always the precept tell you to be careful, yeah? Because it's not just one life you live. Even you became a saint already. That person has attained like four level in order to be able to come down wherever he wants. But he cannot erase the past karma that he made. That person, that the woman came all the way 800 years after to meet him there. And they don't get on well either. But it's already there. Difficult to just check off somebody. And you're also confused. You don't know if it's good or not good to shake it off, you know, even though you don't get on well, but you don't know anything better up to now, you know, especially if it's first love or first time, like you never know, you don't have experience in love, so even though it's bad, the relationship is still better than no relationship, because you don't know, yeah, it's very difficult, very difficult. Many of you know that, even if you have bad relationship, you, you cannot shake it, yeah, because the force of karma is so strong, <laughs> yeah. That woman who has come this time, because she has an excuse to, you see? He has a relationship with her for two months, so she can use that as an excuse. Besides, she has a strong willpower, 
after he left her at that time come back to the fifth level spiritual wife she gets so angry she went out and learned black magic and she put a curse on him for wherever he goes he can never see that person again that his wife again so seven eight hundred years a person suffer a lot and can never find her but then he try hard practice spiritual and eight hundred years later meet her but with another person in between already so the person you are with it's not always good for you although it seems like that yeah you just get a habit she cooks good you know Oh, he opened the car door or something like that. <laughs> something is there for you to hang on. You know, and even though life is suffering, but you don't have time to even think about it. You get up in the morning, you drink a quick coffee, you go to work, yeah? Whatever you argue last night, it has to be forgotten for the work. And then come back, continue arguing again, maybe, but then don't have time. Must watch TV, must uh, take the dog out, must uh, take care of the kids. the children whatever you know must clean the house must uh, pay the bill whatever and then you don't have time to think of what to do with the relationship yeah and so day in day out you just keep <laughs> continue with that and then uh, sometimes uh, the pressure of loyalty or friends yeah because you know each other and you know all the friends and they all like pura that you stay together and something like that so everything just keep you in bondage And you cannot shake it off. And sometimes it costs you spiritual attainment. Some of you could have attained higher level already, but you can't because of relationship. Yeah? So at least you don't have one. Yeah? So you, it might not bind you. It, it might make you happy, but it might bind you. Who knows? Yeah? It might be a bad relationship, then it worse than the suffering you have been going through. you miss him and all that may be painful but you never know if you're with him it might be more painful yeah and you couldn't even shake it off then then because it's been too deep it becomes too deep yeah and you have things together you share houses or whatever and you share bank account whatever and then it seems so complicated to separate yeah so you just go on go on like a cow you know the horse just continues the same way yeah And this costs you sometimes spiritual attainment. I'm sorry for some of you. I don't want to say <laughs> who, but I guess you know. I guess you know in your heart why you are slow. Yeah? So I told you already, if the car bothers you, sell the car. <laughs> the house bothers you, sell the house. Yeah? Anything you want to sell and nobody buy, I can buy it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Awesome. I've been in a very difficult relationship already for a long time. Difficult relationship? Very difficult relationship with my husband. Yes. I would like to get away. I haven't yes. been strong enough so far to do it, but now I feel strong enough. Yeah. But I feel so sorry for him, you know. He's yeah, I know, he's, I know, I know. So what, I don't know if, if, it's, if he is my karma, if I should really try it. and just bear it, or if it's better if I get away, because I feel I can't make advanced spiritually as long as I'm with Get away. Get away, yeah. yeah. His energy is very, very negative. Dragging, yeah. Very um, depressed and sometimes he's so full of hell. I understand. It's time. You can go. Can I go? Yes. But what do I do with him? I mean, can I just drop him? He's 72 and I feel... I don't know. What you do is what you do. You can give him money. I think I don't have it. <laughs> no, I just feel sorry. Okay, okay just give him then. No, no. <laughs> you, <laughs> What do you want me to say? Yeah. If he's sorry, we'll keep him. Can, can one just sort of, you know, split and keep on good relation? Okay, then we, split and keep a good relation. We probably get on much better if we live together. Huh? We probably would get on much better. Yeah, who knows? Right. If you still feel sorry for him, he's still there. Just take him, put him back in the pocket. <laughs> oh, no. Up to you, eh? You have But to know. Decent, exactly. But if you want to, you you are in a position to go. Okay. How Thank old you. are you? Today is 61. 
61, he's 72. Wow. Why you find such an old husband? No, no, no. I think he's living for, uh, I know, I know. for 40 years or so. Yeah, I should find a younger husband. It's always better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any volunteers? Oh, you, don't to, you don't have to take care. <laughs> you don't have to take care. Men, when they're old, it's really difficult. Yeah, very, very. Yeah. So much demanding, you know, a coffee at 7 o'clock, newspaper at 7 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> his sofa has to be right there and spotless and you know his program is uh, football and uh, you cannot change any other channel blah blah yeah. uh, whatever okay it's your problem eh? but if you want to go you can thank you ma'am. but you have to take care that he's in a good hand somewhere yeah. or somewhere yeah. I don't know if he's happy in an uh, old home or with no, a relative no, no. I think we just have to get him a flat oh a flat and take care of him then okay does he have money he has enough money to live alone Right? We, we have to try and manage somehow. Yeah, or yeah. give him money to pay for the flat and for food and yeah. yeah. Well, rather money than spiritual energy, no? Yeah. yeah. If that's what you feel sorry for him, then do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, talk to him, see how he feels, yeah? Of yeah, course it's difficult, no? Or if you just keep him like uh, I keep my dogs in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> they are so draggy, but. They use them, but they're already there, so I keep them. Yeah, but they probably don't abuse you. He abuse you? Yeah. Sp uh, not, not, uh, not verbally. Not verbally, yeah. And emotionally. He often, when he's, he can be a very sweet, nice man, but when he has this bad face, which are more often than yeah. not, he will wish me dead. You know, he'll say, why don't you drop dead? Why don't you go to hell? Okay, then just go dead. Go die. <laughs> Come here, die here, and leave him alone. Uh, anywhere, you know. If he wish you die, then okay, so you don't want to see me, then I'm gone. Just pack and go. Yeah, that's always an idea. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. But you're so happy, nobody would guess. <laughs> but I'm happy because I'm with you all. <laughs> yeah, when you're here, I'm you're not happy. always this happy at home. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, but it's okay. I'm, I'm looking after my two grandchildren, and they're very happy little mm. kids, and it makes up for a lot. Okay, he's so old, you have to take care of him a little bit, okay? Yeah. 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 If you're separate, you take care of him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If he's younger, I thought you were so young, I thought your husband may be 30 years oh. old. <laughs> <laughs> <Just drive. laughs> I thought you'd just drive and drop him at gas station. And then. <laughs> but if he's 72 years old, then you have to take care of him, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody did that to you. <laughs> ah, you happy like you like it. Okay, any more questions, babe? Any more questions? Yeah, sometimes a mundane problem cannot be separated from spiritual issue, eh? It's a very difficult thing. Yeah, it's no harm to separate from him. No harm. Just get him a place, take care of him, but you have your space, you know? And also save him a lot of karma, cursing you. And me as well, because he can start the thing. Yeah, sometimes it's like that. Enemies always <laughs> happen to bump into each other. And then love at first sight even, you know, and all that stuff. And then you never know what, you know. Everything is uh, full, full, full of the, all the appearance in this world just kind of full you and you, you lost everything and you don't even know. Horrible. Some people, some people, they, they open restaurants and all that, you know, and very prosperous. And they sell meat and all that. They think they earn a lot. <laughs> They're losing, you know, appearance. Yeah? But no, he's not just a bad man. I feel that he's progressing since I meditate with you. Oh. He sometimes tells me, um, when I go on a retreat, for example, you meditate for me, I need it. Oh. But on the other hand, he can make... You know, he all keeps uh, telling me, oh, you're going again. But as soon as your tape is on, he immediately rushes in and turns it off. And uh, yeah. So it's a bit, it's, it's like uh, possessed by some very bad energy sometimes. It's um, not possessed, it's just yeah. low level. Ah, okay. It's just astral. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we have only a few millions of them, but they spread out everywhere, mm -hmm. hanging on to us. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You. Already prepared. That's Maya already prepared the karma from last life. Mm -hmm. Whoever you are enemy, they plant it around you. Mm -hmm. 
make trouble. If you plant it as your friend, <laughs> your husband, your wife, difficult to get rid of. Yeah. yeah. But you're lucky, you have only one baby. I have many. <laughs> I have to love them, take care of them, just like you. <laughs> yeah? Thank you. Mm, you're welcome. <laughs> ah, I wish you luck, eh? I wish you luck too. You're so beautiful. You'll be happy, no problem finding a boy. If you want one, eh? just get rid of him and then something else will happen. Because you can hang on to it, you know, so you, you, you're not happy and you're not open and so nobody wants to approach you because you're so depressed and always hanging on to that person and that his energy is clinging to you when you think of him. So, bro, I just feel, yuck, huh? <laughs> Right. Anyone have a family problem? Today I am in a good mood. <laughs> Moi aussi, j'ai le même problème avec mon couple. Je suis 22 ans avec lui. 22 ans? <laughs> 22 ans. Mais quand? Oui, ensemble. Uh, ensemble? Oui. Oh, but how old are you? 40. Not possible. <laughs> Je suis jeune. <rire> Merci, Merci. Quand tu es né, j'ai 20 ans. 22 ans. 22. 22. Okay. Alors, euh, ça marchait parce que je suis très, très heureuse pendant beaucoup d'années avec mon mari. On a eu du problème extérieur. Uh -huh. Et puis, il a changé beaucoup, moi aussi, mais moi, je me suis remontée. Alors, Comment changer oui. Euh, on, avait une relation, on, avait dit... non, on avait une relation très très bonne, mais il a changé, il a souffert beaucoup. Et puis il a changé le, le, la relation avec moi. Pourquoi faire Pourquoi euh... Alors, qu'est-ce que. Qu bon, le problème, c'est Quand... que. Euh, bon, je ne tiens plus avec lui parce qu'il me coupe euh, mon spiritualité. Ah, Alors, euh, pour être avec lui, je dois laisser de méditer. Alors, il y a des moments que je ne tiens pas le coup, je dois méditer. Vous comprenez, maître Comment euh, Pour être avec lui, je dois laisser de, de faire ma méditation. Parce que ben pourquoi Parce que physiquement, je ne peux pas il méditer. Hein. Parce que de temps en temps, il boit, il mange de la viande. Alors, je ne peux pas être avec lui. Mais il ne faut pas être avec lui dans votre corps. Vous êtes ensemble. Oui, mais je suis plus mais... amoureuse de lui maintenant. Hein? Je suis plus amoureuse de lui maintenant. Je suis dans un vie maintenant. Ah, ben, je comprends, mais, mais qu'est-ce que tu veux faire ah, non, euh, Maintenant, euh, ben, je veux dire que je suis en train de me divorcer. Et yeah? puis, euh, on a des enfants petits. Ah, ouais. De 4 ans et 7 mois. Ah, ben, ah, ben. Oh, <rire> ouais, c'est du problème. Pas, ben. Mais euh, bon, j'ai une, une, une soeur initiée qui va venir m'aider à, à soigner les enfants. Ah, ok. Alors, de moment, ben, c'est ça. Mais euh, il est très gentil, alors euh, on va le laisser peu à peu. Voilà. <rire> on va le laisser peu à peu, et puis, euh, je ne sais pas, si euh, je peux, si je, je sais pas. Mais qu'est-ce que tu veux, alors Tu veux divorcer Non, je veux demander si... Euh, si tu veux divorcer, ou tu veux avec... Euh, non, de moment, je veux essayer de, de, de laisser euh, passer le temps, et on ah. verra bien après ce qui se peut se passer. Ok. Ça va, comme ça Je sais pas, je pense. Ça, ça va, je pense que c'est le meilleur pour moi, pour, euh, pour ma méditation. Moi, je ne sais pas non plus. <rire> C'est que je vous fais que, comme vous sentez hein, dans ça. votre corps. J'ai eu des années pour le penser. Ok. Ah, de toute façon, doucement. Oui, hein, c'est ça, je fais très, très doucement. Ah, très doucement. Très, très doucement. Parce qu'il y a les enfants. Hein. Ouais. Mais il faut être, faire attention que vous n'avez plus d'enfants. Hein. Ah non. <rire> J'en ai assez avec vous. <rire> Six mois, mon Dieu. Sept, Comment sept. ça va faire comme À sept années Non, sept mois. Sept mois, sept mois, la petite. How oh, did it happen, you Ok, never mind. 
<rire> je pense que c'est le karma. Oh, c'est c'est tout de karma, hein? Ouais. Comme vous voulez, hein, ça fait rien. Hein? Manchman, euh... Manchman? Vous pouvez parler l'anglais, on peut me traduire. Ah, oh, traduire, traduire. She's talking about uh, her relation with her husband. She's married since uh, 22 years, and uh, but she has two kids, uh, very small, seven months and four, four years, and she wants to divorce because the relation is is not very good. Uh, so she says she she would like, maybe she she will do it slow slower. Yeah. And the master say yes, and uh, she can have some help from her sister initiate who will help her with the children. Yeah. So, but he still loves you. It's not true. She say she say that he doesn't. Oh, she doesn't love him anymore. Yeah, but he still loves you very much. Is that true? Or no? Yeah, she knows. Oh, yes. that's that's difficult. Huh? Uh, maybe you try to tell him be vegetarian and drink less. So much more. Difficult, because. Et t'aime beaucoup, hein? C'est facile, t'aimes bien. C'est facile de, de parler avec lui. Il Donc, quitter l'avion et quitter la colle. Il aime vous beaucoup, donc c'est facile de parler avec lui et de lui dire de ne pas manger de la nourriture et de boire. Peut-être, parce que ça, elle se sent plus dégustée. Donc, la relation de l'amour est strange un peu, mais si elle suit la façon dont elle. Lives her life, maybe the relationship will improve. You don't have to divorce a person just because he eat meat or drink alcohol. Tu n'as pas besoin. Tu n'as pas besoin de divorcer quelqu'un simplement parce qu'il mange la viande ou il boit l'alcool. Il faut l'aider à changer. There are worse things than eating meat. Il y a des choses pires que manger la viande. Yeah. If the person is brutal, is low level, is bad, abusive, is worse than the person who just eat meat and do not uh, act in a violent way. Il y a des gens qui sont yeah. violents, qui sont brutaux, qui, qui peuvent abuser de toi, et c'est pire que des gens qui mangent la viande. Yes. Yeah. So um, he could change if you want to change him. Il peut changer si tu veux qu'il change. He's a good man. Il est un bon un bon homme. Yeah. And uh, you have already two children, so you should consider very well before you act. Tu as déjà deux enfants, donc tu dois vraiment bien réfléchir avant d'agir. Good man, difficult to find. Un homme bon, c'est difficile à trouver. Yeah. He's very, very, very loyal. Il est très loyal. Hein? Yeah. And he loves you. Et il t'a quitté. He loves you. Il, il t'aime. And uh, on that. Uh, on that basic, you can work. Tu peux travailler sur sur cette base. Yeah. You've been with him long time. You should help him as a friend. Ça, ça fait longtemps que tu es avec lui, donc tu peux l'aider en tant qu'ami. Yeah. You tell him that you prefer him be vegetarian and do not drink, and then maybe you feel better about it. And then he will do it. Dis-lui que tu préférerais qu'il soit végétarien, qu'il boive pas, et peut-être euh, plus tard s'il le fait. Je... Yeah. He will do it. Et peut-être il va le faire. Hein. Yeah. Maybe he will do it. Then you will work on that love relationship. Huh? You have children together. Et comme ça, vous pourrez travailler sur l'amour. Vous avez des enfants. Maybe it's workable. It's still workable, eh? Eh? Peut-être c'est possible que ça marche. Encore. Okay. Anyone else? No. I just feel very bad about having talked about my husband because it looks like he's only bad. He really has always a very good side. Of course. He's, he's very caring. And yeah. I suppose he, in a way, in his own funny way, he loves me. That's yeah. why I could never get away from him. Okay, and don't get away with No, I want to. <laughs> I just want to be sure. He told me that he's abusive, like yeah, he's he dragging your spiritual practice, yeah. and blah, blah, blah. No, he no, curses you and all that. No, no worries. But you can do it. Of course, nobody do it 24 hours. Excuse me, ma. Of course, everybody has a little point somewhere. I told you already. He opened the car door. <laughs> she cooks good. Yeah. 
All these little points to hold us there is like a cup, you know, small, but it binds. All the fool. <laughs> For yourself and for everybody. Yeah, emotional bond is very strong, eh? Not easy to shake it. It's up to you. Leave you him uh, 30 years or something already. Why not a couple more years? The guy is too old already. He might go tomorrow. <laughs> What's so funny? such a happy person. It's always like this, you know, somehow. Told me that he's abusive and yeah, he's dragging your spiritual practice yeah. and blah, blah, blah. He curse you and all that. Not always. But you can do it. Of course, nobody do it 24 hours. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's not easy. Of course, everybody has a little point somewhere. I told you already. He opened the car door. <laughs> she cooks good. All these little points to hold us there is like a cup, you know, small, but it binds. All the food <laughs> for yourself and for everybody. Yeah, emotional bond is very strong, eh? Not easy to shake it. It's up to you. Leave you him uh, 30 years or something already. Why not a couple more years? The guy is too old already. He might go tomorrow. <laughs> What's so funny? Such a happy person. It's always like this, you know, somehow. I tell you, the quiet person always married a noisy or boisterous person, you know? And a big person marry a small person, you know? It, it's something opposite, yeah? Uh, most spiritual person are married to the low level, astral. Yeah. And still make excuse. He's such a good guy sometimes. <laughs> he loves me. Who knows? Who knows if he really loves you? Huh? He might have 18 years old somewhere next door you don't even know about. It. The thing is, he, he takes both so you don't even know. I'm kidding. But it could happen. It could happen. In uh, many of my lifetime, I was married too, eh? Before you enlightened, you married and you fall in love or you love whatever, like everybody else, and then you just stay married, eh? Even after you became enlightened or master, whatever, you stay married, eh? And some of those lives, my partner betrayed me and I don't even, didn't even know about it. Yeah? Now I know. <laughs> Couple of thousand years later, I look, ah, God! <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't mean him. That would be great, because then I could leave with a good conscience. What? If you know. That would be great if he was having somebody else. Then I could leave with a clear conscience. No, but you never know. That's a problem. He won't tell you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I stay with him with the illusion that he loves you. That's better than he doesn't love you, no? Keep it, keep it, keep it. Keep him. <laughs> sometime, because I didn't know it at that time, but now sometime I met those person again, and then it strikes me why this and that happened. Then I check into the past, see what happened, then I know. But I didn't know before. Yes. Master, what, as I'm listening now to all this... Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, we should meditate, right, but they need to, to cleanse their heart, eh? Yeah. It's mundane, but it's hanging with spiritual 
If I don't solve it, they cannot meditate well because it's a stone. No, but yeah, yeah, I understand. Uh, I'm, I'm grateful that you agree to this conversation <laughs> because it's a personal thing. Yeah. Just, I don't know, for me, to live in a couple or not, uh, I think it, it can be both. Yeah, it can be. But, but I just, I don't want to feel very lonely. That's why I, ju- I think, is it possible to have a couple without such strong karmic relationship? Just to have a couple on French, on French basis. Yeah. You see? Difficult. Difficult. Most of the times they are en- enemies. Possible but difficult to find one. You have to have affinity with them to have a good relationship. Understand? Otherwise, it's so plain, you know. Like, look at this guy, for example. Can you love him and stay with him? For example, you know, you can't. Even though he's a beautiful guy and some a good guy, whatever, but you don't feel anything. Not even to be friends, you know, you have to have something to stay together. Mm. So, mostly, it's the enemies, <laughs> energy that make you feel, strike you, you know, like something there, so you begin to pay attention to that person. But if he, if he is attached to me and I'm not... Then forget it. Why? Why bother? Hmm? If you like him, fine. I can decide for you. No, 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 no. I just think it's easier as, um, to handle the relationship when you're not attached. Not very attached. Yeah, it's true. But <laughs> mostly they are attached. <laughs> That's why they're together. Huh? Mm. But if you're a higher level, yeah. For example, he and his wife, huh? Yes. They look, they feel, they think they're attached, but it's not. Just they get on well. Yeah. And they are very high level. Yes. Not the fifth, but high. So they, they understand each other what the goal, you know? So they stay together and they just like friends. But just already they're already there you know and they build a friendship all these years but uh, if you want to look for some person it has to have affinity with you yes otherwise you don't feel either love or enemy these two attract quick yes, yes. either you've been love uh, before or you've been enemies before these two are oh, like lightning you saw that person you know right oh something with this guy or with this girl and then you begin to pay attention even if enemy, of course you don't see the enemy in him. You say, oh, he's good looking. This is a, this is a force of karma. The guy ugly, but... <laughs> for example, but because of the karma, you think he's the most attractive guy on the whole planet. You wouldn't change him for anything else. Everybody else will wonder what you see in him. For example, yeah? <laughs> Talking about you or not? <laughs> <laughs> problem, eh? That's the problem. Yeah, I told you before. You, sometimes you sit in a restaurant of coffee and you see the couple hold hand and you wonder oh, oh, what they see in each other, you know? And it's uh, something. You know, mostly the beautiful girl, <laughs> mostly attract to very ugly guys. Um, uh, some handsome guy attracted to ugly girl. You saw that all the time. So if it's not karma, what what is it? How can that be? Huh? You saw all the models sometimes because I was in a designing business. No? I saw all the time. Mostly tall, blonde woman, supposed to be beautiful. She's always with a short, fat, bald, <laughs> black hair guy. Did you know that? Did you know this? I'm not kidding. And he has to even have a big stomach as well. <laughs> then, then he's the ideal husband or her. <laughs> Am I kidding you? <laughs> you saw it, right? <laughs> so every time if I see a blonde and just married to some guy, I, I don't even have to look at him. I know already how he looks like. <laughs> and not just a model. I saw many people in a shop, restaurant, anywhere. And she loves him like heaven, whatever. <laughs> and the, the guy, you don't even want to even think about it. I don't even want to think of him. No? Are you... Are you... <laughs> you saw it. <laughs> so... 
time I just ask a beautiful blonde woman out because I've got all the... the <laughs> 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 right? You don't have to be a bald. <laughs> Boy, it's a little bit less, but gives you then a good chance, baby. <laughs> now I understand that, you know, you said you saw the couple and they, what they see in each other. When that, I couldn't understand. Oh, now you understand. I was looking more on the, 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 the actual connection when you love each other. But you just look at the physical, right? Between the two physical. Oh, yeah, I understand now. But it's, it's not just one time. Okay, I understand love is about physical, but it's always the same. Yeah. But what's upsetting is you were talking about me. I'm not upset. <laughs> okay, sometimes I look in a magazine and I say, and uh, such and such movie star is um, married to somebody, you know, and she's oh, it's kind of blonde and tall and willowy. And then I say to the, the, the attendant, you watch, I'm not watching, you tell me, is that guy dark hair, bald a little and fat and big stomach or not? He said, yeah, how you know? <laughs> Sometimes he say, but he's not bald. I say, he better lose some hair or else. <laughs> yeah, because I saw many couple like that. It's funny how you love the opposite. That's what it is. No way. Okay. Now you guys, the bald guy and phantom, be afraid because... Some people are conscious, I think. <laughs> Stand a great chance. Yeah? <laughs> Better than those so called good looking or tall guy, oh, they're nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. Uh, are we able to see if the relationship is based on karmic energy or on love? Yes, you can see, you can see. But you, you have to really be fair and objective. So you are in it, so you can't see much. But uh, basically, if you can get on well, like uh, 70% huh, of the time, like 70% happiness, 30% uh, uh, um, rushing, uh, rubbing, <laughs> of fighting, then you can say that it could have been, yeah, it's chance that you have a good relationship before. Either friends or relatives or lovers. Nah? But if you only like 50 some, 50 or 50 some or 50 less, then you better get out, baby. Otherwise, oh, I don't know how you practice. If any time, if you have a relationship, and any time, any moment at all, there's the uh, uh, trouble arise. Even in a candle light dinner and anything, there's something always happen. Then you should know that's enemy. Okay? Or just continue until it solves. Or continue next life until it's all erased. <laughs> or get out. <laughs> no, but we cannot get out. Cannot? We can. Can? Oh, well. <laughs> of course you can. It's up to you, eh? Sometimes you get out of that relationship and you pay something else. So it's always a price. But sometimes it's a time you get out. Yeah? You feel really strong urge to get out, that means it's time. Yeah? It's time. Uh, sometimes you want to get out, but you can't, and maybe it's still too strong. But we are practitioners. You can be strong. Strong will, and you have a lot of spiritual merit. You can pay a little bit for that so that you can get out. I just want to be sure, if, if I uh, meet someone to uh, take, I know that it's based on love and not on the... I understand. Yeah. Yeah, well, you can feel it, you know, you can feel it. If it's uh, harmonious and sincere, mm -hmm. you have to really watch out, yeah? Mm -hmm. Another thing, you can also look into, like, a Chinese horoscope, it works. So if you happen to meet the one that opposite your zodiac sign that's not supposed to be, then you better stay away. It doesn't matter karma or not karma, <laughs> it really makes trouble. Yeah, in Chinese they believe, for example, if the monkey lives with the tiger or the snake lives with the pig, then it, it don't work. What is? 
You want to say something? Oh, yeah, no, I don't know. You know it? Oh, my sister is Monty. Yeah. And you? Tiger. Tiger. You don't get on well. Only friction. We are... We try to not to be you know, too yeah. much fighting, but... But it's always something, huh? You feel it's not... Yeah, you feel it's not harmony. We are not to, uh, to quarrel or something. Yeah, no. we it's just feel it's not. the feeling, yeah, I understand. Even if you don't quarrel, <laughs> in fact, you don't feel like uh, you can work with that person. <laughs> It doesn't matter what he does or not does, or quarrel or not quarrel, there's a, this harmony feeling inside. But the spiritual practitioner can also overcome that, but still difficult. Together. What? Two same signs. Uh, Two same signs depend. Depends. Anyway, just pray <laughs> that you meet a good one or nothing. That has to be the best solution, otherwise you cannot, you can never tell. Hey, you in love with somebody? Um, I'm not in love, but I'm, I have a relationship, mm -hmm. and I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> because it's recent. Because it's is it recent. good? What? Good? Is it good? Yes, he's, he's very... He's no, very it's kind. the relationship good. Oh. Well, she's rec the relationship is recent. Oh, okay, but uh, yeah, I just feel need to. Uh, yeah, if it's good, then it's good. But just it's the the first time that uh, he's uh, very kind to my practice. I mean, he he doesn't uh, disagree. So at least I feel comforted. On, uh, I mean, this is the most important for me. So the rest, I, I don't know. I think. Yeah, that's the most important already. Huh? Mm -hmm. It's okay. Huh? Yeah. But sometimes, uh, in the beginning, you know, they try to <laughs> yeah, yeah. impress you, you know, I am a generous guy, and look at everything, and they don't. Actually, I'm here thanks to him. Yeah? Also, he gives you money? Yes. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mark of love. <laughs> I'm joking. But then he's good. Then he's good. Because he even let you go away from him, yeah. and he has to pay for it. So that cannot be bad. Eh? It's easy to tell. Good. You know, like that's really unconditional, no? Yes. Yeah, okay. Because if he, he gives you money to buy clothes for him to look at or to take you somewhere with him, then it's different. But he gives you money to go away, then he must be good. Yeah. He must have some spiritual seat in him. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it will develop later. And also, also, actually, you tell you tell us that uh, we we become f uh, powerful with uh, with practice. Yeah. Actually, uh, when we met, he immediately was uh, uh, say, his he had an illness that was immediately gone. Mm. Yeah. yeah, sure. Thanks to you. Well, he tells me yes. He tells me that he feels I have. Yeah. Yeah. Then you have him. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Okay, we're done with relationship or with one some more? Oh, she's happy. <laughs> yeah. I have one question. Um, my family and also um, not, not nearest. Um, um, grandfather and they are all was um, hunters, butchers, and they sell alcohol. Yeah, yeah. Was I a uh, um, practitioner before that I'm here, or, or? No, you haven't been first time. First time. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter about them. You make your own independent life. Okay, be better for you, eh? You warm? You okay, everybody? Yeah. All right. And you drink, you eat, you good, everything okay? Yeah. And your Buddha, how do you feel? Tell us something. Yeah, yeah. Raconte and Kenka Shores will know. Yeah. Great uh, privilege comes with great uh, responsibility. 
We have to repeat the names and, and oh, yeah, just like normal, just add in some more. That's all okay. And when you do the song, you don't repeat anything. Yes, yes, yes. But it's just because um, I think once you told about the, like the points related, like for example, if you say the names, it's so many points. Yeah, but doesn't mean that you have to abandon the light and the sound to get points. Your spiritual uh, wisdom don't always go with the points. So you need to meditate light and sound, okay? To uh, get back your wisdom. Huh? The point is just to speed it up, okay? Right? So don't just recite all day, all night because you have more points and now you don't meditate. That's just wrong. And I would also like to um, ask maybe for some advice for um, when um, reciting the names and the, the gift. 
um, because sometimes I feel that I'm when I'm reciting that I'm very much concentrating like that I'm not really relaxing in it and I'm just yes. like concentrating concentrating and I don't really feel that I'm yeah that I that I can go say understand do, do not stress yourself out <laughs> yeah you, you concentrate on the wisdom eye but you repeat it just as by the way yeah I sing along eh so it's like sometimes you're cooking but you're singing huh? no? and you brush your teeth and you're humming you can do two things Do not stress it, do not stress it, number one, hundred points, two <laughs> hundred points, and three hundred. I, um, the idea of the points, I never really liked it too much because I know if I concentrate on the points, then I'm, yeah, not, I'm not myself. No, 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 no. So that's not, I'm not really asking it for the points, but understand. it's just that maybe... I understand, I know, I know. I'm just making it light. <laughs> I'm a good uh, comedian, though. Make everybody laugh. I know you're not like that. Yeah, there's no need to defend yourself. Nobody cares. Yeah, nobody accuses you of anything. What I mean is, just do everything you do as usual. Hmm? The name, the phrase is just to help you more. Yeah, in case you lack in some way, you still can make up for it. All right? Yeah. But don't abandon anything. Hmm. Okay. No, some more. Yes. I just wanted to ask a question about. Uh, uh, Debt. If, if you have like a car loan or like a house loan or any debt to your family, and like uh, like money debt or anything like that, do you have to clear that before you can reach the fifth level? I think you should. Yeah. We don't want to be the bankrupt, bankrupt Buddha, no? bankrupt Buddha. <laughs> yeah, just clean it up, eh? Okay. But if there are sometimes, if you are family members or so practitioners, uh, if they are not pushing about it and they say they give it to you, then also fine. Because it's possible that they all knew before. You see? So every situation is different. The main point is, the main point about the five precepts is that you have to keep yourself correct. You see, the concept is that you don't try to hurt other people on purpose. You don't try to take advantage of other people on purpose. Yeah? You have to keep a line somewhere, no? Yes. yes. All right, that's it. Yes. You don't try really hard to live on somebody else. You see, it's the invention, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But sometimes give and take does happen in the family. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah. It will work out. You will feel it. You feel whether that money you can take or not, or you should return. Understand? You know it. You, you're strong enough now. Bonjour. Bonjour. Bonsoir. 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 Je voulais poser une question, c'était par rapport à la, aux parents. Moi, je ne vois pas mon père depuis, euh, euh, je ne sais pas, 20 non, ans. Non. 20 ans. Donc, est-ce que c'est le karma ou est-ce que c'est -ce est bien ou est-ce que c'est pas bien Ça ne fait rien. D'accord. Ça ne fait rien ou on vit ou on n'a pas peur ou on n'a pas le papa. D'accord. Non, mais c'est correct par rapport à... Respect the parents quand même. He doesn't see his father since like 20 years and uh, he asks if he's okay or not. Master say yes, he's no problem. Uh, but he still has to have respect for his parents. Yeah. If he has time, if, if opportunity arises and if his father wants to see him for some reason, he should also go and say hello. Si tu as l'opportunité de voir ton père, tu peux lui aller le voir et lui dire bonjour. Or call sometimes say hello. If you feel like doing it. Si tu sens que tu dois le faire. If he did something wrong, you forgive him. S'il a fait quelque chose de mal, tu lui pardonnes. Because our real father is not even him. Parce que ton vrai père, notre vrai père, ce n'est pas lui. Ton vrai père, c'est If he leaves you and it's also good, fine. Then you have less authority to deal with. S'il t'a quitté, ça va. Comme ça, il y a moins d'autorité à faire face. Everything works out just fine. Tout ce qui se passe, c'est que yeah. ça va. Whatever happens, happens. Tout ce qui arrive, arrive. Yeah? It's not your fault, it's not his fault. Ce n'est pas ta faute ni la sienne. 
Just the working of uh, karma. C'est le karma qui travaille. Sometimes uh, he has only uh, affinity with you for two days or two years or five years and the affinity finished, he gone. Parfois l'affinité c'est seulement deux jours, euh, deux ans ou... et une fois que l'affinité après est partie, c'est, c'est fini. And what happened? Come here, tell us. Yes, uh, talk about it. Yes, so you feel better. Comme ça, tu te sentiras mieux. You want to stop over there or you want to talk here? That's fine. Today we're talking about family. You take your chance. <laughs> I don't always uh, talk about it. Ça va là, toi? Ça va, merci, maître. Oui. Mais qu'est-ce, qu'est-ce qui passe? Je ne je, je sais pas pourquoi il, il, a il nous voit plus avec ma soeur. Tu es ta soeur? Il va plus? Sometimes it happens. Parfois ça arrive. Hein? Parce que peut-être il a tombé amoureuse avec une autre personne. Et c'est pas possible d'avoir tous les deux. Hein? C'est mieux qu'il est parti. Peut-être autre personne, autre, euh, l'autre euh, femme, euh, euh, déjà a eu un, un, un enfant, deux enfants, euh, secrètement avec lui. Et il ne peut pas parler avec sa mère. Pour le, et, il a une position, il ne peut pas possible de parler. Tu comprends yeah. Il a peur, hein? il n'a pas de courage, etc. etc. Tout peut arriver. Mais, surtout, c'est le karma. Hein? Peut-être, euh, peut-être autre, autre la vie, à ta mère, elle a lui abandonné. Et, et maintenant, elle a fait la même chose. C'est comme ça, toujours. C'est pour ça qu'on a sorti de la secre. Comme ça, on ne peut pas retourner. Hein? Comment? Uh, français, c'est pas très bien. <laughs> Explain it to okay, him. Um, maybe his father, he fell in love with another woman and he had some uh, kids with this uh, other woman. And uh, so he has to hide himself and he cannot tell uh, the, the brother's mother uh, the truth. So he, has, he doesn't have the courage to, to do it. So... Um, uh, Sometimes his position doesn't... It's not possible for him to tell society, pressure, all kind of things. Parfois, c'est la pression de la société, toutes sortes de choses qui lui créent la pression. Sometimes, in the time that you were born, at that time, it's very taboo. A man have another woman, thing like that. And if he has a good position in society, that's a really, really bad for him. So, it's difficulty for him to talk. But I have, <laughs> the most important is just karma. Euh, peut-être au moment où tu es né, c'était tabou de, de, d'avoir une relation autre avec une autre femme, donc selon la position aussi de, sociale de ton père. Donc, mais le plus important, c'est, c'est karma, tout ça c'est karmique. Karmic relationship, yeah? Donc, je ne m'en occupe pas, c'est karma. Non, non. J'ai pas besoin de le revoir. Non, pas besoin. Si il veut te voir, pourquoi non Non, je, je, je peux vous expliquer un tout petit peu, mais je ne peux pas si, en, si. embêter l'Assemblée. Ah. C'est, j'ai reçu un... Je, je, je travaille avec une nouvelle société et j'ai un fax. Et on, je le branche que pour recevoir, euh, envoyer les, les, les contrats de vente avec la nouvelle société. Et un jour, j'ai oublié de débrancher le fax. Et j'ai reçu un email d'un monsieur qui a 67 ans et qui cherche mon père. Il ah. n'y a que moi qui sais où il est. Qui a le numéro où peut-être la personne peut Ah, le c'est pour ça que tu le sais où, où je vais vivre. Je sais, je sais, je, j'ai un téléphone où on m'a dit si tu veux, tu pourrais le, le rencontrer. Mais je me dis, est-ce que ça vient à moi pour régler la, le problème ou est-ce que je n'ai pas à m'en occuper Mais j'ai la réponse maintenant. Yes. C'est pas la peine. Non, c'est up to his heart now. How he feels. How he feels to do to make him feel correct and happy. Sometimes it's good to forgive. It feels good. Otherwise, there's a knot in there all the time. You don't open it. Maybe you just have a look at him and talk to him. Yeah. You don't have to always see him, but no need to hate the person. 
He, at least he is an excuse for you to come into this world and then you meet spiritual practice. Okay? Savate something in no? It is something new, no? Okay. We've had a situation with my sister for a while. She's been very generous and we never actually have to ask. She just naturally gives. Yeah. Um, and I felt very natural about it, but yeah. my husband doesn't feel as comfortable. Uh-huh. But we're wondering if it's, um, it is karma and she has owed us or does owe. Or has yeah, it's years. okay. It's okay. Um, because it, we never ask. It yeah. comes. It just okay. comes. And okay. we try to help her as much as we can. Okay. Just take, take, take. Yeah. Oh, I had another question. Oh, about the five names. It's said to say them with love and compassion, but I, I find that hard because I don't have a real deep mm-hmm. understanding of what they represent. So when I say them, it feels... Five names? Love, compassion? Well, when at the initiation, they say try to say them with, with love and, and feeling. Oh, well, if as much as you can, huh? of course okay. you respect the, of course, yeah. the laws, the kings of the five worlds. Okay. Yes. Sure. Sometimes it seems to be coming out a bit sort of empty for me. Well, yes. Never mind, just repeat. Don't okay. worry. Okay. It will come. Master, were we practitioners together before? Yes, you have. You have a good relationship, right? Yes. You never been your disciple? No. no. We've been with other master. I'm not always here on earth. I run around. I feel that uh, it is my first uh, lifetime when I become a disciple of uh, master of your. Of yeah, your. that's correct. That's true. That's yeah. correct. So, hi, stranger. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel I still on the low, low. <laughs> hey, you see what now? Feel like you saw me before? What? Low, low level you are? No, if you're low, you cannot be here. At least you are third level, no? Yeah, you are third level. Middle third even. Okay. Come on. Middle third. <laughs> Where are you? There are some people here, not even middle third, or even at the border. <laughs> I'm not saying it. You can always progress, doesn't matter. Yeah, you take your time. Thank you. You're welcome. Welcome, welcome. But hurry up, eh? Why not, eh? If you have to do something, do it fast, no? <laughs> That's why I push you this time, <laughs> all day, all night. Do you feel all right? Yeah. No pain? A little bit? Go out, exercise, and come back, you know? Yeah? When you really feel you cannot bear go to the trailer and, you know, have a two minutes stretch out. <laughs> yeah, you know very well, huh? Wow, it's so smart. I don't even have to say anything. You know the rest. <laughs> How smart can these people be? Many of you have been appointed Buddhas. Can you imagine? If we have a free system to vote, many of you will have become Buddha already. <laughs> what a pity. Master, if my father is sick, I have to go and look up him or... Yes, you, you should. I should go to him. If you can. If not to go some time, because you have to work also and you have family, you cannot come all the time, or you bring him to your house, or you hire somebody to take care of him, or in hospital, and then you come, go, come, go, eh? If you can, then you stay all the time, but it depends on the situation, eh? Why not? Because I didn't have so much near to him. Contact with him before, okay. How old is he? Eighty-two. Oh dear. Where is he? Nearby you? No, in Sri Lanka. I live in Sri Lanka. You work here, right? Yeah. Where are you? Where you work? Uh, in Sweden, but now I'm uh, not working. I'm working here also. Oh. No, I mean... Uh, My father is in okay. Sri Lanka. So you live in Sweden? Yes. Who takes care of him now? Uh, I have 
two brothers and some uh, family members, some people around. Okay, then it's fine. Fine. So he has nice time. Yeah, you, you can send some money, a gift or whatever to him, pray for him. Come see him sometimes if you feel like. Yeah, you should see him maybe once or something, yeah? If you can afford it. Yeah, then go see him. Yeah, it's for your business. Why not? He's your father. Go have a look at the poor old man. Yeah, before he goes. Make peace with him. Otherwise, if you go and then you feel, oh, I should have gone see him before he died. I just came from him. Yeah? He got sick afterward. Just you got sick because, because of him? Yeah, he got sick after. Oh, well, after okay, you can come back uh, later. I don't mean right now or immediate, but you go when you're ready. Have a look at him, okay? He don't have long to live. Yeah? He's 83. Okay? Never know. He loves you very much. He loves you very much? Yeah. He loves me very much. He loves you all. Oh, then there's some more you have to go. <laughs> it's a natural thing to do, no? I would have gone to see my parents, even though I know they have been my employee, but I love them too. That's it.